Hey, this is related to the larger story that we're covering the uh, the incident that took place in Orisha on Friday that has left more than 280 people dead. Uh, we're learning now that railway officials had actually flagged flaws in the system and warned of catastrophic accidents after a similar tragedy was averted in February due to an alert locomotive pilot. Uh, in that incident, the train was stopped, according to sources. However, the, the, the incident and the fact that it had taken place made many alert to the fact that there were flaws in the system. The then Principal Chief Operation Manager had warned Indian Railways against the alleged bypassing of the electronic interlinking system. And specifically, it said it may lead to catastrophic incidents and accidents. This was his report after the Feb 8th incident. The entire point of bringing this to your attention is, of course, uh, that the Railways Ministry had been flagged. They were aware that these issues existed. Now, this is the report that we're getting right now. Uh, this is an incident that took place on Feb 8th. My colleague Akash is with us. Akash, this incident shows that officials were aware that there were flaws in the system. They'd, in fact, gone so far as to warn of catastrophic accidents. That's quoting their language exactly. Akash, what does your research show you? After a railway official warned the system that this could happen, what was the follow-through that took place, if any? Right. Uh, so, uh, first of all, two, three things I want to mention, Toya. First one is that an investigation is already on in this particular case. We don't know that what exactly happened. The rail minister has categorically said that it was uh, some issue related to interlocking, but we still don't know, and we'll get to know as to what are the details after the detailed investigation. But as far as this let letter is concerned, so this letter is of Southwestern Railways. And it is written by none other than the principal chief operational manager, the PHOD of that zone who looks after the operations. Now, in his letter, he is talking about one incident that happened in the February month. And, and, and in this particular case, the train was Sampal Kranti Express. Now, uh, you must be remembering that the initial reports, in fact, the sources within Indian Railways are suggesting that in uh, the uh, incident that happened on Friday, there was some issue, and because of that issue, the train that had to uh, go from uh, up line actually, uh, you know, went towards uh, the loop line where the, uh, the uh, goods train was already standing. We don't know whether it got derailed first or it got dashed with uh, the goods train that uh, investigation will tell. But in this particular letter, in fact, uh, the uh, PHOD is mentioning that in the case that happened in February month, there a signal was given and starter was on, so signal was taken off. Technically, it is not possible that you cannot, uh, you can, uh, uh, you cannot actually remove the system uh, uh, signal after giving it. There are certain conditions on the basis of which signaling works. In fact, the interlocking works. And interlocking only happens after the fulfillment of those conditions. It means that if your signal is red or yellow, then the train cannot bypass or the interlocking cannot bypass that particular signaling system because they are interconnected. Now, in this case, the officer is possibly, you know, pointing out the technical failure because of which he has also mentioned that due to alertness of the local pilot, the train was stopped. And, you know, the train was actually moved to a wrong line. It is also important to mention, uh, Toya, that whenever we talk about change in line, so it is not the local pilot who decides that which line the train will go on. It is decided by the station master or someone who is sitting on the panel. And that is the reason why in this particular case, the, the case that happened in February when the train went on to a different line where already, a, uh, you know, another train was standing, the loco pilot uh, basically applied the brakes and, you know, due to his alertness, this uh, incident was averted. But the point that I want to focus here is uh, the report and in the particular report, which is by the principal chief operational, uh, you know, um, um, uh, manager of that particular zone. He is talking about the serious flaws in the system. He has categorically mentioned that the incident indicates that there are serious flaws in the system and it needs to be rectified. In fact, uh, uh, you know, he has mentioned about uh, uh, the corrective actions that need to be taken. Now, PHOD is write letters on a daily basis. On, those, on the basis of those letters, you know, meeting happens and in meetings, these issues are generally taken up. We don't know 
as to if this issue was taken up and you know vendor was selected on the basis of the particular issue or if this technical issue was highlighted in front of other official or if it was sent to uh, the other zones because uh, you see when i am seeing uh, the copy of this particular letter it has been sent to the general manager agm drm ctpm okay so ctpm it has been uh, sent to ctpm as well it it means uh, that you know it was sent to not only the zone officers but but to other officers as well so it is possible that this letter was in fact uh, you know uh transferred to some uh, to the railway board as well we still no uh, have no clarity on it we'll get to know from railways but this was one letter that was written by principal chief operational manager operations manager uh, of south western railways where he talked about the possible technical flaws in the system because of which an incident was averted uh, you know a major accident could have happened at that point in time it was loco pilot who applied brake on the right time and because of which this incident was averted okay thank